What's up? It's your boy Grand Dizzy here. I hope everyone is doing okay. I'm doing well. I'm blessed by the best. It's Friday. TGIF. <laughs> But, man, we just got hit by a storm. And Storm Helena just got hit us. Uh, but, um, man, uh, we, we, we okay. We are safe. I'm doing well. I'm blessed by the best, as always. The family is doing good. The dogs are okay. The house is in one piece. Um, all my neighbors uh, seems to be okay. But, uh, man, my heart goes out to all of the guys, uh, all of you guys that got hit so bad. Um, just know that Grant is praying for y'all, okay? I am praying. You guys are in my prayers, as always. Um, I hope God uh, will keep you guys safe and um, whatever you guys lost, God is going to replace it one way or the other. Amen to that. Amen to that. Um, so today I'm heading to the, uh, the Harley dealership today. I hope they're still open. Um, If you guys own a, a Sportster S, this bike here, this beast, I call it a beast. If you own it and you do do your own uh, mod from time to time, there, there are some stuff here. So all these plastics, all these plastics are being held. All of these, that. Um... They're being held by uh, little pins, like uh, clips. This one right here, it's all plastic, and they uh, they they held by uh, you know some kind of pins. I'll see if I can throw out a picture on there. Um, anytime I pop them off and I try to do some work on it, it just especially this side, man, it will just drop back there and I'll lose it. So I kind of buy a lot from Holly, and they just keep it there. Um, keep it in my, uh, in my, in my tool set, just in case I lose them, you know, I can, you know, have one, they're not even expensive, uh, about a, a dollar something, so, today, we're gonna head to the, uh, to the Harley and, uh, go pick it up, I ordered a lot, um, they told me they're gonna call me when it comes, but they haven't called me for, like, over two weeks now, so we're gonna go there, and, um, once we get there, and... They have, um, they, they, they're not close. I'll just take you guys, you know, walk you guys through there. That is not my regular Harley. This is, uh, just happened to be closer to my house. Um, the one that I bought this from, it's all the way, I would say about, um, I don't know, um, hour and a half away, <laughs> and I am not doing that. And funny thing is, hey, hey. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, yeah, the guy just check up on me. I told you guys in my other video, man, if you meet a Georgian guy, if you meet a good one, oh, man, you better hold on to them, man. You gotta hold on to them. You see, he just stopped by and see if I was doing okay. Um... And one thing that I have seen, I know this video has nothing to do with what I'm, this just happened, you know, to happen. And to be honest with you, I will give credit to where credit, you know, credit is due. And shout out to all the, um, the Clayton County Police Department, man. I, I love these guys. These guys are really troopers, man. They are really, you know, like real troopers. They are heroes, man. Hey. I'm not lying to you, man. I have seen these guys at least five times. Like, I will be driving down the road, and I'll see that they, uh, they they pulled over with someone, and you would think that maybe they're trying to write them a ticket or something like that. No. The person might be broke down, so they will give them a jump. I've seen police officers pushing a car, like, not once, not twice. I... I I, like even this morning, man, I saw one and I'm like, man, I should have given a shout out to, um, I should have given a shout out to 
uh, Clayton County Police. I, I'm not sure about the um, the other counties, but I'm pretty sure they're all the same. Um, so, if you meet good people, like I'm telling you, there, there are some good people here, and I love it, and I'm trying to. But as far as the driving, I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> so this just happened to, you know, be be in the um, in the um, the conversation. Let's just say like that, okay? So yeah, he just stopped by and see if I was doing okay. And uh, indeed, I'm doing okay. So let's just um, head on to Holly, and hopefully, hopefully, I can pick up my stuff. And I'll show you guys around. Uh, let's just hit this way. Let's let's hit this way. Yep, hit this way. All right, guys. Once again, thank you for joining me on this special episode. Today, I want us to talk about safety. You know, like safety is probably one of the most important um, topic to me since um, I'm called an essential worker for those of you guys don't know I'm in the transportation business so safety is like one of the main thing main topics that um, my employees we hear like pretty much 24-7 that I do I'm not gonna go into detail but I want to take a little portion of what I normally um, talk to my guys about regarding the safety I've been thinking about this and I'm like you know what you can definitely definitely apply this to um, to bike or motorcycling I'm telling you it's easy so today, we're gonna go over the safety and the, and the main topic that I wanna, you know, touch base is the, um, the Smith system. The five keys to Smith systems. And I'm pretty sure many of you guys have heard it before. I didn't know I have my um, <laughs> hazard on. I'm pretty sure many of you guys have heard this before, but it's called, just Google it. It's, it's just general knowledge. It's not something that I came up with. This is something that I've been there for decades. That uh, you know, driving schools, you know, DMVs, um, transportation businesses like what I'm doing, you know, this is something like a, a, a ten commandment, or I'll call it five commandment, that they um they, they, they stood by, and uh, it helps. And so last uh. Two days ago, I was uh, talking to my drivers with uh, some kind of safety issue, and I said, "Man, maybe I can share this, you know, with my with my guys, with you guys. I love you guys, man. I love you guys, and I hope you do too." Oh, I said, "Man, I can share with you guys because it's pretty much the same principle. So it's only five keys. They call it five keys to the Smith Systems. Uh, you can look it up. You can Google it. It's general knowledge. It's there." So today we're gonna use it to apply to the techniques that we use on these two wheels. Like, like I say all the time, man. We have no protection when it comes to uh, motorcycling, man. Zero, zero protection. Only thing we have is two big ass um, rubber ties and a motor. That's all we have. No seat belt. No airbags. No nothing nothing so yeah when it comes to safety i take it a little bit serious man um so we're gonna we're gonna go by you know one by one and then uh you know it's called the smith system okay the five keys to smith system so we're gonna go and start with um with number one what i'm doing i'm not supposed to be doing it okay what, I, what i'm doing is wrong i'm not supposed to be doing that it's like, hey Grant, you you, you got to preach and, and do the walk, or how do they call it? You got to be an example, right? So if I if I want to preach with safety, what I did right here, like you know, operating my phone, it's a big no, 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 no. 
because if I have cameras in my uh, all the um, the fleet, so if a driver get caught by operating the, uh, a company vehicle and using a phone, even a radio, man, they got fired. They got written up, warning, reprimanded. You can use all those words. So what I did here was wrong. So don't do that. Don't don't do that. Okay. I want to preach and I want to I want to set an example so and and it's gonna be a little bit difficult because these machines are like a, a speed machines no doubt about it there's nothing you can do they, 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 they're meant for speed but we're gonna try because I use that and I apply it every day so number one first tip that we have on the Smith system it's aim high in steering. Now guys, this is very simple. It says aim high in steering. So remember what I was doing back there? That goes against this, period. And all of them is five keys and all of them kind of tie together. You know, it, it, it sums it and it, you know, it, it makes you uh, a, a safety um, conscious. And at the end of the day, all I want to do when I take my bike and leave the house, I want to return home the same way that, like I, I left out, you know. So it's it's it makes you safer, period. But they all tie in, they all very, very similar. As you guys can see, we're going to go through that. So the number one is aim high in steering, okay? Don't, when, when you're driving, when you're riding your bike, don't be looking around and, uh, you know, not paying attention. You know, why you steer, you have to aim high. Um, what I normally do is, um, I try to aim like uh, maybe uh, half a mile down the road. That's, that's what I do because, guys, you, you don't want to be caught by surprise like, oh, psh, you know, you, you, you can't do that. You, you got to be prepared whenever um, some kind of hazard comes your way. So the number one key to the Smith system, it says aim high in steering. So as I'm riding, you know, um, um, you can't see my eyes because I have a smoke visor, but I'm, I'm, I'm aiming like high as I steer, as I, you know, push the throttle. And as I switch my gears, I'm aiming high. You know, I'm, 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 you know, looking around for some kind of hazard, anything. You know, that way I'll be prepared. All right. So you guys, number two is get a big picture. Get a big picture. What do they mean by getting a big picture? I wanted to do a lane split here, but um, because of what I'm teaching, it's illegal. By the way, in the state of Georgia, you can't be doing a lane split. Um, good luck to police officer who want to cut up with me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Yeah, sometimes you got to play. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to put a little joke in there. And, uh, you know, but yeah, it's uh, it, many, many states, it's illegal uh, to do lane split. But sometimes it's important. One day, I'm going to take you guys to the highway. So, uh, you know, it's just one day, one day. Anyway, get the big picture. Why getting the big picture? You aim high and you steering, getting a big picture, you're looking out for a pedestrian, you know. I told you guys in my previous videos how the traffic sucks in Georgia. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. And your best bet to get around in Georgia is to do what I'm doing, the back roads. Make the back roads your friend because they will get you in and out. Unless you don't have any option, like my job is in Atlanta, and going through the back roads at about 16 miles on top of my already long commute. So it doesn't make sense for me to do it, okay? So I take the highway all the time, but get the big picture. You know, when you're using the back roads, you know, if you're in the community, in the neighborhood, even here, you know, just get a big picture, look out for, you know, pedestrians, look out for, um, you know, uh, um, stuff on the road, debris, um, someone opening the door, 
um, anything, anything that um, calls call out for safety, you just get a big picture, you know, get a clear conscience, and while you uh, aim high in steering, you get the big picture, okay? That is the number two, key number two in the Smith system. Key number three, key number three to the Smith system is to keep your eyes moving. Guys, you, I told you, and uh, you know, all of the, all of these keys, they tie together. They tie together, guys, and it will help you, it will help you to be a, a better, look at this one right here. You know, we have a, a railway trucks coming up, you know. Uh, you reading around is a keep your eyes moving. That's the key number three. I'm keeping my eyes moving as I approach uh, oncoming a uh, uh, traffic light. Um, again, the last thing that you want here is to get caught by surprise. Like, oh my God, who? What happened? No, you got to pay attention. You know, because once you, on this bike, <laughs> you got to scan it. You got to get a big picture. And you got to keep your eyes moving. You got to keep your eyes moving at all times. That is the key number three. And number four, leave yourself an out. You see how I pop? Just, I'm looking at my mirrors. Like I'm checking my mirrors like every eight to five to eight seconds. And I'm not very, very close to, to the traffic ahead of me or to the or to the van ahead of me you know I'm, I'm i'm leaving all this cushion space cushion to give myself an out so just in case i'm looking in the mirror and i, I see a car coming and they're not stopping and i know they're gonna sandwich me i can uh, i have i can have escape route so you always have to leave yourself an out um you see how i'm riding uh, because I'm talking, I'm not actually doing a lot of stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. It's, it's kind of hard to do a motor vlog and then um, talk at the same time. Most people think it's easy if you want to, you know. So, basically, I do not ri uh, ride in the middle of the road. I ride on the sides. And the reason why I ride on the side, either this side or the other side, I keep switching lanes. Um, is because... Just in case I have to um, maneuver, do a, a, a sudden uh, maneuver, then I have myself a room. And also, if I do that, some of these guys, they don't pay attention, but at least they will see me. huh? So if I'm on that side or here, uh, you know, uh, I make sure that they, they, they can see me. You, you have to be seen. So I rarely ride in the middle of the road. I'm always either on the left side or the right side. And then one thing that I do, especially when I'm on the highway, I do not ride beside any car or especially truck. Guys, I used to drive one of those and you do not want to drive on their side. Like when the traffic is moving, like you're doing like, um, I don't know, 60, 65, 70. Just try to be yourself, you know, at the end of the day, you have more power, you have more talk. Get away from the, everybody. You know, get away from everyone and try to ride by yourself. Because your chances of surviving by riding by yourself or alone on the street is, is greater than, you know, just riding side to side with cars. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, these trucks, I will never, you will never see me riding on their, on their side. Nope, I will never do that. Because when the tire bust, they have a, a blowout tire or something like that. You, you, you do not want to be that victim, guys. I promise you, you, you do not want to be that victim. So, um, that is that. Now, guys, unfortunately, we are right here in the Harley Davidson. And it looks like they're close. Look at their trucks. It looks like uh, they, they're delivering somebody's baby. Okay. But they're not here. I'm not surprised because of the, um, the storm, the hurricane. So I am not surprised that uh, they're not here. I really want to show you guys around here and, you know, see what they got, the inventory and all that. But unfortunately, they're not here. So... 
Sorry guys, sorry. Next time, next time I'll make a trip. I, I, I have my 5,000 mile um, review coming up very shortly. So um, I'm gonna take you guys to a Holly when I, when I go get it done. And I'm gonna do a complete review on, on, on this machine, okay? So leave yourself an out, guys. Leave yourself an out. I have uh, the list, I believe, on my phone. Let's see if we can complete it. And then number five, make sure I already said that, you know, like I told you guys, all these Smith system keys, they tie together. So the number five is make sure they see you. So the reason why I was riding side to side is because I wanted to be seen on top of your, your high vis that you have on, uh, your helmet, um any any kind of stuff that you you know you may have on you know make sure these guys on the road sees you i told you guys man they don't pay attention i've had uh, so many close calls where um unfortunately because this camera is tilted again oh grant come on, come on let's do this let's do this let's do this just a little bit there you go man my ocd when that thing kicks in Nothing can stop me. <laughs> I'm all the way up. <laughs> yeah, when that OCD kicks in, you're done, man. I, I got to. I got to make sure everything is, you know. But I can shouldn't this in, uh, in post. So, anyway, make sure these fools, I'm sorry to use those words, because that's exactly what they act. They act like fools on the road. So, make sure they see you, period. If you keep this in mind, I guarantee you, Anytime you leave the house, you're gonna come back the same way and you will be one of the safest drivers or the riders. Use this, apply it to your car. When you're driving in your own car, um, whatever you're doing, just, just apply to it. Anytime you're using these public highways, apply to it. Anytime you jump in your car, on the bike, in the truck, whatever it is, just apply to it. I promise you, man, it will help you. Let's go over, let's do a quick recap. The five keys to Smith system. Five, oh, I can't even. <laughs> oh, God. All right. What, what is my thing? There you go. Woo. All right. So the five keys to the Smith system. The first one is aim high in steering. Okay, that is the number one key. Aim high in steering. So as you steer this, you're aiming high, you're scanning ahead, you're checking for hazards, you, you're looking out for, you know, pedestrians or anything, anything that is gonna, you know, uh, create a safety uh, issue for you. You're just aiming high and you're steering it, okay? Key number two is a get a big picture, okay? Uh, just keep about 40, uh, 40, uh, 48 seconds following distance between you and the other cars. Just in case you have to, you know, do a, a sudden maneuver, okay? Get a big picture. Number two, keep your eyes moving. So I keep my eyes moving. I'm looking at my mirrors like every, I don't know, 10 seconds. I know sometimes it can be daunting, but it's good. You're looking behind you, making sure nobody's running into you or anything like that. Just keep your eye moving constantly. Keep it moving. Scan ahead. Keep it moving. And number four, leave yourself an out. Again, leave plenty of room, space cushion, and just keep your eyes moving. Sometimes these guys, they don't see you, so once you stop, they can run into you. So if you have and make sure, <laughs> one thing that I don't do, but I think I need to start doing it. Anytime I come to complete stop, I put my bike in neutral. That is not a good idea, guys. It's not a good practice. And I've been doing this for a very, very long time because I want to just have my free hand so I can get some, you know, I can relax. But it's not a good idea. Whenever you leave yourself an out, you're standing at a traffic light or in traffic, just make sure that you're looking at your mirrors, you're scanning through, and if someone is coming your way and you know they're not stopping, just hit a throttle and get out of their way. You don't want to be sandwiched in between these cars, man. Trust me, I've been there and um, it's no joke. And then the last one is to make sure that they see you. You know, just, just be seen, guys. Be seen. Be seen. 
All right, so I hope these tips will help you to become a, a safer rider, to save your life, share with your friends, your family. And uh, Grand Disney here, I'm signing out. I will see you guys again in my next vlog. Adios.